guys, it's Katie from Shutter Ranch. Today I'm doing an unboxing video of my new uh, Bonte um, airless paint sprayer. Um, we went to Harbor Freight the other day and got this to do all our future painting jobs. So let's open this thing up. Did not even need a knife. Cool. All right, so we got our instructions and our quick start guide and all of that. So let's take this sucker out. So here are all of our parts all laid out. These can go back into the box. And we're going to grab our quick start guide and put this together. Actually, we're not going to grab our quick start guide. We're going to grab the actual instructions and put this together. I honestly thought that this was going to be bigger. I am so glad it's not. Okay, we're going to attach the suction and priming hoses. So I'm going to assume this is the suction hose. this on and for these clamps you just pinch it together and move it okay so we have our sprayer hose it looks like and we'll take this little button out and take this cap off and then we can attach that there and it did come with some wrenches so we can tighten it up okay then on the other end we'll take out the other clamp and here is the spray gun and we'll take off that piece and we'll go ahead and put that back in there and then this is threaded on to the spray gun. Okay so we got this pretty much all set up and we are gonna prime it really quick. To prime it, we are gonna use this knob here and we're gonna turn it to prime clean and the blue arrow will point there. Um, we'll have the, we'll start with the power off. And then on the other side, we have this, this lever and it says spray or prime. We're gonna turn it down so it's at prime. And then we have our uptake line and our discard line in two different buckets. So uptake is full of water, discard is empty at the moment. We're gonna turn it on. And we're gonna watch the water to come out of this. And it is. And we're gonna take our nozzle and unlock it and spray. And that's working as well. So we're good there. We're going to lock it again, and we're going to change this to spray, 
and then we can do this with spray. Okay, so it's all on spray. Now we're going to finish getting our nozzle together. So to put together the spray tip, these are the three pieces. We have a little spray tip with a gasket, um, this pen, and then this. So we're gonna take this and put it in. We're gonna go through the back of this. So like this, and we're gonna find the hole and we wanna make sure it kinda of matches up on the inside the way that it's um, going. Okay, so, and then we'll put the pin in at the top and we should be good to go. Now we're gonna put it onto our nozzle and we'll just thread that on pretty much there. Um, this piece came or this kit came with three different wrenches um, and we're going to use that to tighten this up okay so there we go um, make sure that all your connections are good. So on this hose, I've, I had to tighten the connection here where it was already connected, just tighten it up. Make sure where your nozzle is connected to the hose that it's tight, and then what we just did is tight. Um, also, on the actual piece where the hose connects, you wanna make sure that is tight too. Okay, so now we are ready to see if this works. Let's see how it goes. We've got our nozzle. So there's one way of spraying. We can coat your stuff. Or we can use the key to flip it around. And we have a different way of spraying. All right, so it works. We don't have any leaks. So we are good to go. Okay, so that is our Avanti um, airless paint sprayer from Harbor Freight. Um, if, so I am going to be painting my shutters with these in the next couple weeks, with this in the next couple weeks. Um, and I'll be showing you guys that, so we'll see how it actually works with paint. Um, the cool thing about this particular model and it, what pushed me to this model rather than a smaller or cheaper model was that we don't have to thin the paint, which saves a step. And I I feel like it gives you a better end product when you are when you don't have to do like a ton of coats and you're not thinning your paint. You're using less product overall. Um, so we'll be doing that. If you have any questions about it, um, leave them for me in the comments below. But also remember, I am not a professional painter. I haven't really used this yet. Um, so I don't know how well I'll be able, answer, be able to answer your questions, but I will try or at least try to point you in the right direction. Um, and I will probably be doing an actual review video on this once I've used it for a few different projects. Um, also, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of what we do around our homestead, hit the subscribe button. And if you want to, feel free to share this video with your friends on your social media accounts like Facebook, Instagram, whatever you're using. Share it there if you think your friends or family would be interested. And until next time, guys, bye!